You're listening to Story Laurent, and this is the Celeb Compound. Now, we know there's so much going on, and it's at a very an emotional time, okay? So, we want to be very tedious about what we do and what we say. Now, the only reason that I'm posting this is because we haven't heard from Offset, directly Offset side. This is the first person to say something, uh, allegedly, and this is just a little rumor we know we're going now, this guy is on Clubhouse telling everyone he's offset assistant and the story that they got. Now, if this is true, I'm assuming this must be the story that everyone wants out and everyone wants us to believe. Also, 21 Savage is saying he feel like it was a freak accident. It was still a sacrifice. But he's meaning it more like uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, uh, JFK situation, like for the greater good. But hey, everybody's gonna feel how they wanna feel. But that nigga Jazz, he left early. He left early. Junior was the only one that was there. You know what I'm That's what I'm saying. Like, like, and walk past people, 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 Bro, I'm I'm all state personal assistant. Stop trying me. You've been anyway. saying this for the last four rooms right, and they said nothing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You lame as hell, bro. You ain't gonna let me talk. Yeah, go ahead. Anyway, niggas niggas walked outside. Niggas walked outside from the dice. Niggas wasn't even tripped by the dice game. All it was, it was a little seven thousand dollars that a nigga got up got up off of uh Quay. Quay walks outside and little nigga in the yellow jacket, the yellow hoodie, follows us and say, follow him and say, hey. What's up with this one on one? Let's get one on one basketball shit. He was trying to get some more money out of nigga. Quay was like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, you just took money off of me. Because you can hear in the video. He said, y'all just took money. We can get that shit back, man. Yeah. Seven. Right, right. So he was just, so he was like, bro, like, why, why? He was like, why, why are you talking about basketball? And he was like, so the dude in the white hat, that's, that's, um, that's, that's Mike Prince. That's, that's, my, yeah, I just got to phone him too. I got to phone him not too long ago. He's, he, he's commenting Quay now saying, Oh, he don't mean like that. He don't mean like that. But Quay was just, you know, tripping because the nigga was antagonizing him. He was following him outside. You know what I'm saying? Trying to steal more money or whatever. Just, he, was, he was like, I can't wait to take your money again. Let's play so Quay was like, bro, you tripping. Whatever. He was like, he was like, I'm leaving. He was like, right, I'm leaving. I see. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say too much, bro. Right. Though that nigga Jazz. Thousand percent, but I also feel like that shit was an eye opener for them niggas too. Type shit. That's just me. What you mean? Oh, like I feel like they had all that bullshit going on, and I feel like that was kind of like I don't know. I feel like like God working mysterious ways. Like I don't even believe in God, but the, the Most High. You believe in God? I believe in like a, a high spirituality type of shit. But I just feel like certain shit just happened for certain reasons. I don't know, because I don't want to say that like it's like, I don't want to say that like it's damn near like he was a sacrifice or some shit. So I ain't saying it in that way, but more so like, a lot of people going to learn from this situation type shit. And realize like a lot of shit don't be worth it. Not not talking about like the way he died, but just in life. Like a lot of feuds and arguments and fucking, feel like it was a freak accident.